Okay. Okay. Uh, we're back. I believe we're up to part 17. And I'm just going to jump right into this because i got a lot to show you. And i uh, been getting a lot done here. Let me get a piece of this wood out of here. Um, got a lot done since the last video. I'll tell you what though, this, this top rail, like I said, <laughs> it, it is a treat. It's taken me as long on this top rail as it did to do the planking. Alright, uh, we'll start with this. I got the whole primer. Got my little pieces on up in the front on both sides. Got them on there because I noticed they get painted black. And I uh, went ahead and sanded it real good on the hull, primered it, sanded it with a stick, found any highs and lows or whatever, and any bad spots, I put a little putty on it. Now, this is about the second or third coat of putty. Um, got that putty on, sanded it real good, primered it again. Then I looked to make sure I had every spot that I wanted to get, you know, fixed up, covered. Sanded it again and puttied it again. And this will be my last putty. I'll, I'll sand these little spots down here. And then I'll just primer them little spots. And when I get ready to paint, I'll, uh, I plan on using some 400 uh, with a little bit of water. And I'll get this sanded. Now, I was going to go for an automotive finish real nice and slick, but then I watched a couple videos where guys said, look, you know, uh, back in the day, the ships weren't perfect. You could see some boards. So there's some spots where you're going to be able to see a few boards here and there once I get it painted, which is okay. I can live with that. But I'm going to get a nice slick finish on here anyway. So really all I got to do is just sand this down primer it again and then when I'm ready to paint I'll do one final sanding and then paint it alright still don't have my rudder on yet I'm holding off on that now I took some of this blue tack Let me get my pointer you can see it in there I stuck some of that blue tack in all them stanchions where them little holes were I drilled them little scupper holes I do not want no paint, do not want any paint to go through them holes and wind up ruining my deck. So I got all them little holes plugged up from the inside. You can see I got my top rails on, got them on, making sure that my little piece of wire for my uh, chain plates, which I can't find now, there it is making sure that I can get my chain plate in there and all them little holes and down along the side of the ship like that okay so I got them set space just the right distance so that they'll go through okay now if you remember I told you I had to make this piece in the back, alright, I made this piece that goes back there, I've got it on, and I also had to make the little piece up here in the front, this one here, see it showing up, goes up here, I had to make that too, okay. And I'm still working on that. I just put that on and I'm tweaking it now. I ran out of little clamps, so I gotta wait till that dries back there a little bit. Um, I did have to get inside of here where my bow sprint goes and file this down a little bit so this would fit on here flush with the top of the ship. When I first started out, it was hitting on the bow sprint and I couldn't get it down far enough. So I had to sand in there and there's plenty of room. I had to file in there, I should say, so I could get my bow sprint in there. All right. So now that will fit right on in there and sit below that. 
Let me see if I can do this. Okay, just like that. And I don't want to put too much pressure on it right now because that's still gluing. Okay, so I made that. Got my top rails on. Made that piece in the back. Now what I'm doing, and that was done about two days ago. I got that all done. Got it on there. Now what I'm doing is this right here. They call this the monkey rail. Okay? There's the main rail, and then this monkey rail goes on top of it. Now this is in the back half, from this step on back. And what you got to do is you got to get a board on there like this, which is called the monkey board, and then put your monkey rail on top of it. Okay? <coughs> now, here's a problem I found. This monkey rail, they got a measurement on it of 360 force by 760 force. So I searched through that bundle of wood that they give you, and I can only find one of them. I can only find one plank, and it was about this size, you know. But you need two, because one is not long enough. So, or it could be, if I make this back piece like I'm going to show you here in a minute, you probably could use just that one. But I, I found a piece in there that was 360 force by 960 force. So that's what I'm going to go with. I found two of them in that bundle, and I'm going to use them. And that little bit wider board for the monkey rail will give me some leeway for adjustment. Okay? So, to get this piece on, let me, let me show you this here first. To get this piece on, it had to have that little bow in the back of it, like I was talking about. Little arch for the back of the ship that I put a little bit of it in there. And I thought, how in the hell am I going to clamp this on there? So what I done was I made me a jig. Okay? I made this little thing. And I could take and set this back here up under my ship. Go ahead and show this to you. Took this jig, set that back up under there. And then I could take a clamp and clamp that piece on because it had to have that bow in it. I put a rag on it so I didn't scratch my ship. Put a rag on top of that, then set it up there and uh, put that piece on and clamped it. So that worked out pretty good. It's the only way I could figure I was going to clamp it on there. Now, I'm working on this monkey board. And this monkey board has to set on its edge on this main rail. It has to sit up like that on its edge. And it has to follow this curve here in the back. And you can see I got it set in there. It is not glued. I got I took it in and ran it under some hot water so I could bend it. And I've got it sitting here clamped up, drying. So when I take the clamps off, I should pretty much have the shape that I need. Now what I done was I had to measure in how far this monkey rail went. Here it is right here. Here's the end of it. I had to measure in where the position of this monkey rail was going to be. And I figured that out and I traced the line all the way around where it's going to go. So then I thought, now how am I going to clamp this on? So what I done was once I had that line drawn, I made a pattern of it, and I cut this right here out of this piece of wood. So that follows that line all the way around, if you're following what I'm saying. And I'm using that as a jig 
to wrap that board around. So here's that monkey rail. Monkey board, I should say. The monkey board, the one that's standing on its edge, going up, and it's got soaked in hot water, and it's taking on the shape that it has to have back here. So when I take these clamps off, it should pretty much have its shape. <clears throat> and then I can glue it down. I didn't want to glue it down wet. So I'm waiting for it to dry and then I'll glue it down. And that will follow that line that I got all the way down <clears throat> to the step. Now, one board is not long enough to make the whole transition. So instead of just doing this back here and making two pieces here, I ran it all the way from here around and as far as it would go so now I only have to put in a small section right here and then when this gets glued on and gets all set up then the monkey rail will go on top of that and I have to line up these holes where the chain plate are because that chain plate goes through this too up here where, where they are at <laughs> Now, there comes another problem. This is a laser cut piece of wood they give you, which is the monkey rail back here in the back. But, because I altered all this by making my own little piece here, this isn't quite big enough. So I'm going to have to make one of these. Alright? And what I plan to do is make it a lot longer. I'm going to probably make it from here all the way around to here. Okay, this little piece I give you only took in that little section. So mine's going to come all the way down. And I should be able to make that right here out of this pattern that I cut out. I should be able to cut it from here all the way around and get that monkey rail out of this piece of wood here. And then I'll get that glued on and then fill in the gap from here to here on both sides. Now, if you follow all that, you know, I know I don't explain myself so good sometimes, but this worked out pretty good making this little jig here. That gave me an opportunity to get this piece of wood bent in the perfect position that it has to be. Alright, so now you come to the front of the ship, the bow. And where is that little piece? Hold on. There it is. I got it. Now, there's another piece up here on the bow Okay, that goes on top of this. Now this is a lot thicker than what the monkey rail is, okay? This is pretty thick up here, this little piece here. And it only comes back, I'm, I'm thinking, I have to look at the plans, but I think it only comes back to here. Okay, it goes from up there to about back to here. Now, <laughs> once again, they don't tell you what this, uh, what this measurement of this board is supposed to be. So what I had to do was get a measurement off of this, how thick it was and how wide it was. Now believe it or not, that thing, and I got it sitting here, is right here. Now this almost this is almost one eighth by one eighth, but it's not. <laughs> it is something like one sixty fourth difference. Buffalo board, that's what they call it. So trying to see if I can find a measurement on it. Uh I think it comes out to like 864 by 764. You are talking 
1 64th of an inch difference between the top and the side. Now, I mean, come on, guys. I mean, we're these are such tight tolerances that I just, you know, I find this hard to believe that they have got this kind of tolerances 1 64th of an inch on this model ship. But that's what they got. So you have to get this turn just right so that it matches that and comes on back to here. And it kind of, I notice it kind of tapers down when it gets back here. But their tolerances on this thing are crazy. I mean, we're talking 1 64th of an inch in most cases. So that's where I'm at. So once I get this monkey rail done, while that's drying up, then I'll work on this piece. And that's going to fit right up there like that. And I got the feeling I might have to make that. So if you can see what I'm talking about, now that looks pretty good right where it's at because it doesn't come to the edge. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I might get away with this one. So, that's where I'm at. Once I get this uh, top rail all done with the monkey rail and the buffalo rail and all that kind of stuff, then I can paint the hull. That's about where I'm at. But this monkey rail, this is going to be a treat too because I have to get this laid on here and make sure I match up these chain plate holes and this has to come out right to the edge okay it has to sit on top of that board I'm putting on there and come out to this edge so I can get got room there to get them holes in there for that chain plate okay so that's where I'm at I'll let you take a good look at it here I'll bring it up a little bit but you can see what I got going on up here. I still got to tweak this a little bit here where I just glued it on. I got to work on it a little bit more. All right. And all this happening back here. Okay, if you can imagine that piece I cut out is underneath there already in place. And uh, I'm just getting what you see here is this uh, little jig I made so I can get the bend on that board I gotta have. One thing you don't want to forget and I will show this all to you probably at the end of this video when it's done but there was a hole cut in here and underneath that there was a piece on the deck a metal part that they gave you make sure you get that in there first because it's got two little prongs on it and there's no way once you got this on there I think you're going to be able to get up under there and get that in because you got to have two little holes drilled for it so you got to put that little piece on in there first and then put that on okay enough for this video or for this section anyway <laughs>